come on, Isaiah Quest. It's literally bound to the S ending of the mercenary. It has to have a tutorial on YouTube. And maybe I should stop being surprised by this. No, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. How is possible that in years of development, in years of the game being alive and the community alive, no one has done a tutorial about this? I'm gonna do it. This is how to complete the Isaiah quest. So, let's start off by going into the mines and then immediately exiting from there. This way we will trigger the appearance of the crow muller and the appearance of a new NPC which is Isaiah in the entrance of the dungeon. Now you have the first choice, you can either give him 50 silver coins or kill him and take the map number 1 and the map number 2. Important, if you kill him you won't be able to do the Kahara as ending, I mean the mercenary as ending, because you will not be able to get the map number 3. How do we get silver coins? You can get 40 silver coins by killing Torture and rescuing Buckman and then talking to him in the basement. We can get 5 silver coins from each Night Lurches. They are very difficult enemies, but if you really need silver coins and you were unlucky with the drops, this is a chance. And then, as a last resort, we can also steal them from some enemies like the guards. And also we can find them randomly in the dungeon, in uh, barrels, etc. Now that we have 50 silver coins, buy the maps and then take the Keep of the Depths and enter Mahabra. So, let's take a look at the first map. Hmm, there is a, the statue of a sort of pig, a staircase and a door on the left. And then there are some vases with uh, an indication that seems like steps. Those little X seem like steps to make. And the white one is the treasure. Where is this place? You see, here in the present there is a pig. Here there is a staircase, here there is a door, here there are the vases. Okay, let's take five steps down, and there it is, Scroll of Transmutation and Scroll of Walk of Water. Now we have to go to the Grand Library. Here, once again in the present, you have to reach the courtyard. In order to reach it, you cannot go basically from the central square, because the road is blocked. You have to go up to the staircase, through the corridors, and be careful because if you see some ritual circles, some small ritual circles on the ground, it's because the Black Witch can spawn from them. It's a powerful enemy, but no worries, if you have dash, you can avoid there forever. And in the courtyard, it's time to take a look at our second map. So, there is a weird looking guy and three doors. Actually, those three doors are in the upper part of the Grand Library, if you remember. And the statue is the weird guy. So let's take some steps to the left, and there it is, the second treasure. 70 silver coins. And at this point, Isaiah will attack us, unfortunately. You can either defeat him by using the black orb on uh, the head, or just by using an explosive vial. Regardless of that, it's not a difficult fight. I would say take out the arms first, or you can just rush for the head, I mean, eventually you'll have to destroy it. Also, after that you can loot him for the iron mask, very useful against the flock of crows from the crow molar, and the map number 3 in case you're playing as Kahara in uh, hard mode for the ascending. In case you are, solve the puzzle of Mahabre, I will make a separate video about it. Collect the old passage key, and then let's look at this map once again. You just have to go into this position precisely, from a location available in the Tower of the Endless after you get the old passage key. And there it is, the item required for Kahara S ending.